it'll do it, but we'll try it. It'll probably be terrible. But you know, the good thing I, my computer's got a delete button. Okay, so he drew the plywood first, which I totally agree with that. I'm going to try to work off inches a little bit more than feet and inches because I feel like on something this small, that's, that's probably doable. Okay, so we do the rectangle tool, which you can go find it over there or you can just type in R. Wait a minute, why is that on that? Okay, hit R. There we go. Okay, I'm going to draw the first piece of plywood. Okay, so that piece of plywood is 48 inches. Y'all see it on the bottom, comma, 96 inches. Four foot by eight foot, okay? So I just made that four foot by eight foot. I'm going to go to push pull. Where's that at? Hit the P. The commands are a lot easier. And right here, I know it's three quarter inch, because that's what that over there was, what his is. Most structural plywood is three quarter inch. You get it like half inch, it's going to be like bouncy and soft. And we use half inch on the roofs for our sheathing, and we'll use half inch on the walls. But if it's on the floor, it's pretty much three quarter inch. So I can put three slash four, or I can put 0.75 inch, three quarter inch. You see how that piece of plywood right there? Okay. So now that I have drawn that, is everybody with me on that? I'm, I'm gonna, okay. All right, one other quick little thing is when you're over here and I'm in the, say I'm in push pull or whatever, and I'm. I don't want to go over here and hit the little arrow. If you just hit your space bar, it changes that. You see how it just lit that up? So now I can go in here and click this one, two, three. Three clicks on my left mouse. See how it all turned blue? And now I'm going to make that a group. And a couple of things that does for me. First of all, now I'm not going to start pulling lines all over the place. And I can copy it, okay? So I just made that one group. And, and this is why I got y'all to do this on SketchUp. I mean on uh, Minecraft. Y'all remember how I told y'all to, like when you're building Minecraft, put all your pieces and parts in, a, in the yard? Y'all remember that? Like if you're gonna put a, if you're gonna use block, if you're gonna use brick, if you're gonna use glass, put one of each in there. Y'all remember that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna do the same kind of thing with this. So I've drawn a piece of plywood. It doesn't matter if I'm gonna use this piece of plywood one time or a thousand times. I've drawn the one piece, okay? Piece of plywood, until I get to cutting it, you know, like 99% of the plywood in your house is a, is a full sheet, okay? All right, so I have drawn that. Now, I wanna go over here. I'm gonna draw a two by four, okay? Uh, let's see how I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna hit the rectangle. Hit the R key. Let's just see how this works. And then I, right now I'm on the blue axis. I want to be able to be on that green one right there. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit, I'm going to do the real size, which is 1.5 inch. Am I doing that right? Nope. Let's back it up. Inch by. It's going to be 5.5 because we're using two by sixes, okay? So 5.5, .5, shift inch, enter. Okay, y'all see how that just lit up that little piece right there? Okay. Now I'm going to take the push pull. I'm going to extend that out and I'm going to stop and I'm going to say it's 96, shift inches, because that is the length of that piece of plywood. Y'all with me on that? Yep, yep. Okay, so I got one two by six that I have cut eight feet exactly. Okay. All right. Now, now I know I've got to use. I need two of them for that one on each end. Remember, he he used he and the part I did not like, and this is where I, I don't know, maybe it's the carpenter side of me or whatever. But when they start laying them together, and one of them's extending through another one, and you're trying to do a that part just makes me, um, I don't know. I feel like I'm in the wrong place when we're doing that. So I'm gonna hit rectangle. I'm gonna draw another one. Okay, I'm gonna draw right here. 
oh, I'm on the wrong axis, but oh, fixed, okay. So I'm gonna hit 1.5, shift inch, enter. Oh, it already found the other side, look at that. It, it, it kinda is anticipating that I'm gonna already use that same thing, I just drew it. See, that's what I said, it, SketchUp is intuitive. It basically tries to read your mind. I don't know, it's like, what is that thing, Alexa or something that talks to you? It's, it's trying to figure out what you want. Hit push pull again. Oh, wait a minute. What happened there? Let me go back because I ain't liking that. I'm going to draw that one more time. Okay. All right. So let's go 1.5 inch, comma, 5.5. Shift, inch, comma. Okay. I've drawn that. Now I can go through and hit push pull. And then these are not going to go all the way to the end. They're going to attach to that other board, right? So let's uh, hit the push pull. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to go this. So it would be 96 inches because 8 feet is 96 inches, right? 8 times 12, 96. But that board's an inch and a half thick, so if I got one on each end, I'm going to lose 3. So now instead of 96 inches, it's going to, this board is going to be 93 inches. So I'm going to call it 93, shift inch, gets me to there. Okay, so let me see how easy I can put this together. All right, so now I want to hit the space bar. I want to light this up three times, one, two, three. Make that a group. Same thing with this one. Make that a group. And now that I have made these a group, I can start copying them and moving them around, okay? So in my world, I just always treat things like if, if I'm going to build it, then I've got these components over there beside the sawhorse, right? This is where I'm over there. Somebody's over here with a saw making some sawdust, right? We've, we're losing some material over there. So if I go through and let's see, I can, I'm going to click on to that one. I'm going to hit the move key. This is where it's going to get interesting, okay? Hit the M. So now I can start moving that. If I hit the control thing. Now it moves it and it doesn't um, mess me up. You know what I mean? Like it's on the same plane there. So I'm going to say that one's okay. Hit escape. I got one. Now, can y'all see my screen okay? Is that still all right? Let's, yeah, okay. Now I'm going to hit this again. I'm going to click it one more time. I'm going to start. I'm going to hit control. And now... I want these two to be together, okay? So now I have created this bottom, right, of what, what he was doing, okay? Now, I know that this one over here, and the, if you, if you want to make sure that you grab the right corner, okay? So if I grab that right there, I'm going to hit Control because I'm, I'm going to leave that, my real one over there. I'm going to move it like this. Oh, I, I messed up on that. Okay. Just imagine that didn't happen. I just hit the space bar instead of the shift bar. Okay. All right. So I'm going to hit this. Click that. I'm going to hit the move key. I'm going to click right here. I'm actually mashing down on the middle part of the mouse. I'm hitting shift so I can tell what I got here. I want to scroll out. Scroll down. Okay. And I want to move that over here is what I'm trying to do. That's the problem. You got to make sure that you're locking in. I think I keep hitting the wrong key. Okay. All right. I'm hitting the move. I'm going to grab that. Start moving that over. Hit control. And I'm going to, it might take me a second to get this right. It's because it's so far over there. I keep losing that thing. There we go. I need a bigger screen to what I need. Or better glasses. Okay. So now I have moved one end. Or did I get the wrong one? 
Oh, I did. I got the wrong one. Okay. Y'all see what I just did? I did that on purpose. I'm just kidding. So I grabbed the wrong. So one of these is longer. And I want the longer one, which is the one on the inside here. See how that one's just a little bit longer right there? Okay. I'm going to zoom in. I started for it right, I guess. Grab that. Hit Control. Do my shift thing. I'll scroll back. Lock that one in. And then now I'm going to grab that again. Okay. All right. Escape it. Get off of that. Click that again. Hit the Move key. Now I'm going to put it right over here. Okay, I did lock that one in. Okay, so now, if you look at this thing, and then try to use these, this is what I'm not using. I'm telling you that. If I go and look at the top view, you can see that I've got those two. I should. Yeah, I've got, ooh, I only got one. Okay. I didn't create a copy. So what I did wrong, hit the move. I'm going to start sliding it this way. When I hit control, then it knows I'm making a copy. Okay. Okay. Oh, if you hit control, that means the copy. If you just do the move, you're not creating a copy. You're just moving that component. Okay. All right. So I move that one. Now, this is where it gets a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to go click this. What time is it? 12.48. I got a little bit of time. I think I can finish it. Okay, so hit escape. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to hit move because this is the shorter one. Hit the move key. I'm going to pull it out here. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to spin it around. So if you see, it, this has to go this way. So now, this little button, he, this little thing he was talking about over here. Okay, I don't want to spin it that way. I want it to be. Well, I guess I'd have to, there it is. I want it to be this way. Okay. There we go. And on the bottom, if you see that thing moving, the, well, let's see. I want it to go 90 is what I'm looking for. All right, I feel like it's probably just easier just to do the orbit tool or the move, hit this right here. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna click that to there and there we go. All right, so I just, cr I moved this to where it, y'all see what I just did? I just spun that around. So I basically just, I, I'm treating it like I got two by fours laying on the ground and a piece of plywood over here laying on the ground. Okay. Now I can actually come through here, click. I, if you hit that space key, it kind of gets everything back off where it needs to be. Okay. I'm going to go click this corner. Right then I'm going to hit move. I'm not worried about this one being, um, you know, because it's. Now, I can zoom in and put it right there. Okay. All right, so now I have, if you're looking at it, if you're watching along, hope you are. Now, if you can see, I have created one on this end, one on that end, and one right there. Now, I know I've got to move this one too, right? So, there's a couple of ways to do this thing. I'm going to try one. I don't think it's going to work, but we're going to try it anyway. Okay, so if I grab this one, so if I do, let's see, 16 inches is what we're trying to get this thing in line with. 
um, 16 inch on center. We'll talk more about that. But it's just how many of these things do I want? So 96 divided by 1 6 is like 6, right? Yeah. 96 divided by 16 is 6. So this is going to be a little complicated, and I probably am going to mess it up five times. We're going to try it anyway. So if I start moving this on that plane, hit control, and I want it to be locked in on that line right there. Now that I have clicked it, it's it's, it's moved one. I can hit the forward slash. It's probably not going to work. And hit six and enter. Oh, and it did work. So it just allowed me to put all those boards in there. Y'all see that? So now, not only, not only have I drawn the platform, which is upside down, by the way, because I, I th this is, and I, I did like the way he did that. So I can draw this and then flip the whole thing over because it's easier to lay it on top of it. I mean, you could work from the bottom, I guess, but anyway. Okay, so that's got that. Um, now he put like a double of these right here too. We had two of them on there, so let's do that, why not? So I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna grab that right there. I'm gonna hit the Move tool, the M. I'm gonna hit Control, because that created a copy for me. I just get it close. So I can zoom in, zoom out. I, I really feel like there should be a better way to do that. but. I'm going to grab that right there, I'll move it up here, put it right there. Now I have created that one. I'm going to grab this right here, another one of these, if I can get close enough. I feel like I need a screen like the size of my board over here. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to hit move. Start doing that. Hit control. It's going to allow me to do one. Bam, I got one there. Hit my space key. And then I'm going to grab one more of these things, okay? So I can grab that one right there. Hit the move tool. I'm going to start moving it. The big key is hit that control key that makes a copy. And now it's all over the place, but I'm going to hit. There you go. Now I got it on the right axis. Hit that one there. Start doing this one. Hit the move again, so I'll make another copy. All right, start moving that, hit control, bam. I'm gonna leave a little gap there so I can move that right. And there we go, okay. All right, so what he, what I did was, drew what that guy drew. Um, now, I can, let's see if it's gonna let me. I want to get some materials. Actually, kind of want to make it. Let's see, where's the wood at? Carbon fabric, brick, asphalt. There we go. Wood. Okay. All right, we'll make the whole thing out of, I don't know, maybe that color right there. And then now I can, I think I'm going to have to do all the sides of it, but maybe not, maybe it did it. Let's make the plywood a little different color because, because we can. Okay. All right. So now I have done that. I didn't get that paint bucket out of there. So this is the part. Now I should be able to grab this whole thing. I'm going to grab that, make that a group. Okay. And now if I put this little orbit thing over here, I'm going to grab that. Let's see. Right there. Might as well make it. I'm going to grab that. And now I can flip this thing over 180. And before I get done, I'm just going to hit the move key again, P, 
pick that up in the air just a little bit because I want to be able to see it. All right, I know that was quick, but I, I actually did record this, so hopefully I can make this. Uh, that really wasn't that quick. That took me like, like 20 minutes. Oh, that took me a long time. All right, so that's but that's what you're looking at, okay? So now you can see what that did. Now all I have to do is put the, uh, just so I'm done, I want to go put, where's my thing at over here? All right, hit the rectangle. And in the bottom of it, right there, it says 3D text. I'm just going to put Creel. Probably should put Mr. Creel, but that's all right. I hit Creel. I'm going to put that right up here. Kind of one on that same plane going up. There we go. Okay, I'll put that there. And then I'll let's go back and we'll do another one. Put in part. Now, if I go, I don't really want to put the next one on here, but I can do it. Let's see. Um, the rectangle again. Text. And I'm going to put shed part one. Number one. Okay. Hit that. And then, what is that? I want to be on my right axis. I don't That's, that looks good right there. Okay. I'm sure y'all can make that look a little better, but that, um, yeah, let's see. anyway, that's what you're wanting to do. So this right here is what you're turning in. I would create this stuff and leave it over here because the rest of the thing is going to be made out of two by sixes, two by fours, um, piece of plywood. So each one if you just think about it like we're just creating the material, that, like we ordered this from Home Depot, what did they bring us? That's the way I treat it. So I don't know. You kind of learn how to run a job site, do the construction, and how to draw. Um, it's probably different than anybody else does it, but, you know, it works. So um, some of the other stuff got a little confusing. So hopefully that made that a little bit easier. So that's, that's what y'all are doing. Um, Okay, I'm going to save this recording.